Hello, this is Justin at The Tech Train here. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create tooltips or screen tips in Microsoft Word documents. A tooltip or screen tip is the text which floats just above a word or a picture when you hover the mouse over it, as you can see in this example here. So I have a word, perhaps extra information might be useful for students perhaps to understand the meaning of a word, perhaps a definition or an explanation of an acronym, or perhaps a reminder of how it links to another topic. So these little tooltips here, uh, you see they appear as links. If I click on it, it doesn't actually take me anywhere. Um, but that tooltip there can be visible whenever you hover the mouse over a word. So how do we do this? How do we create these? It's uh, a few stages to the process. So first of all, what I'm going to do is choose the word we're going to add the tooltip to. So this is just obviously uh, lorem ipsum text made up uh, pseudo text. It doesn't really matter what I use. But I'm going to highlight this word down here. Aliquam, perhaps. So you highlight the word that you're going to um, add the tooltip to. And what I'm going to do as well is to copy it. So I'm going to right click and copy, or of course, use the keyboard shortcut Control C. Now with that word highlighted, and you can highlight an entire paragraph or uh, it could be a picture as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is head to the insert menu and then click on bookmark. So in the bookmark name here, we need to paste the name that we just copied from down here. So right click and paste or just use control V and then we'll click add. So we've added a bookmark to this particular part of the document. The reason we want to do this is that, as you can see, these are links, they're hyperlinks, but we don't want them to go anywhere. So by creating a bookmark within the word itself, then the link will just simply take us to the same word we've already clicked on or hovering over. So that's why we have to add the bookmark. Now, once we've added the bookmark, the next thing is to insert a link. And we can do that by going up to the link menu here um, and clicking on insert link or using the keyboard shortcut control K. Again, make sure that when you do this, the word that you want to have the tooltip over is highlighted. Now, once you've got the insert hyperlink uh, menu here, we want to make sure that on the left hand side, you've chosen place in this document. And from the list of bookmarks, you'll see the one that we've just added there, aliquum, whatever it is there. So select that one. Now in the screen tip box at the top here, you can write your information. So I'm going to put in here uh, just helpful information here. You'll see that you can only do one line of text, but I'm going to show you how you can actually add as many lines of texts uh, as <laughs> lines of text as you wish. So we're going to click OK and then click OK again. Now what you'll see at this point is two things. First of all, that the word has been formatted as a hyperlink because that's what it is. So it's gone blue and it has underlining. We're going to get rid of that in a moment. You'll also notice that if you hover the mouse over it, you can see in the little tooltip there the information that we just wrote. So the words helpful information here. Now what you can see with the tooltips that I've done here and here is that there are multiple lines and quite a lot of text as well, and also a kind of dotted line to divide the text up between the um, two sections, the section with the words and the bit at the bottom, which you can't get rid of, that says click or tap to follow link. We can't get rid of that bit, so uh, we can just put a little bit of a, a dotted line between the two parts if you wish. So first of all, how do we change the formatting of this word so that it's not looking too much like a link? Well, two steps to this one. First of all, I'm going to click on a word that's near it that has the formatting that we had originally on this word here. I'm going to click on that and head to the home menu and click on format painter. I'm going to click on format painter and then simply drag my mouse across the word that contains the link. And when I let go, you can see now the formatting is the same as it was before. So it's now the same type of font as we had originally. If I hover the mouse over it, you can see we still have the tooltip that pops up uh, when we hover over. Now, the next thing to do is to copy the format from here, from these words, onto this one, or simply apply a format. But you'll notice that you can't very easily select these words because now they're a link the little hand, the link um, mouse pointer pops up. 
You can just grab at the beginning there to the left hand side and click across if you wish to. But an easier way of doing this is to hold the control key down on your keyboard. If you hold the control key down, then you'll see that the mouse appears as an ordinary text selector mouse and you can now select the text very easily. So if we wanted to highlight this word here, okay, so I've got the control key selected, I'll push down, and I'll let go now, and then I can change the font to anything I want. So if I want to increase the font size, I can do that. If I wanted to make it bold, I can do that. And what I'm also going to do is hold control down and click inside one of these words here and use the format painter again. And then with control held down, click and drag over this word. So now the format of these is identical. So holding control down allows you to click in or select text which has a hyperlink on it without actually clicking the hyperlink itself. So, so far we've added the tooltip, we can see that information there, and we formatted the writing so that it looks more uh, in keeping with the rest of the document. Of course, you don't have to have these words highlighted in any way at all, but I think it makes a little more sense because then at least if students or whoever is using these documents needs to know information, they can see at a glance which words have that extra information available. So the next thing is, how can we change the text in the a little tooltip there or screen tip so that it's multiple lines. Well for here we need to use a keyboard shortcut and this is two keys. First of all the ALT key, A-L-T, which you'll find to the left of the space bar and the F9 key at the top of your keyboard. With ALT held down and then tap F9 you'll see that the tooltips are expanded to show what we call the fields or the information which is hidden inside the link. Just pressing Alt and F9 again will hide the field information. So I'm going to press Alt and F9 <clears throat> so that I can see the information. And you can see here that the text that I've written for the previous hyperlinks is just simply written as multiple paragraphs. And that's exactly what we need to do here. So if I scroll down to the new link that we've just made, you'll see that it starts with an open bracket and the word hyperlink and then a backslash and this word here. That simply means it's a hyperlink and it's linking to the bookmark that we named Aliquom earlier on. Then we have a backslash O and in speech marks we have the tooltip. Now it's important not to delete the speech marks, brackets or make any changes at all to what's inside this field except this information here inside the speech marks. And here is where we can write whatever we like. So I'm going to change that information to begin with. and I'm going to write here my first line of text here. Then I'm going to press enter a couple of times and then say here is my second line. Press enter another couple of times and then finally my third line here. Now we can't change the format of the text as it appears inside the tooltip but we can simply add multiple lines by having multiple paragraphs in this field view. Next I'm going to press F, uh, Alt and F9 to go back into the normal document view and you'll see that if I hover the mouse over this tooltip there is that information. You can see the first line of text and then a break, the second line of text, break and the third line of text. And if I press Alt and F9 again, I can then, if I wish to, press Enter another couple of times and put in some dashed lines here to create a kind of break between the tooltip itself and the instructions to click on the link underneath. So there we are, that's how to add screen tips or tooltips to text or images within a Microsoft Word document. I hope you found that useful. If you did, it would be really appreciated if you could give this video a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any comments or questions, do please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to reply as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.